Hi, welcome back. It's now afternoon Monday. Uh, Saunders 200 pounds. I've added this cadmium yellow rather than the lemon, lemon yellow. I don't find it that strong. It is a student quality, but uh, I'm going to see what the green, what grains of greens I can get with this cadmium yellow, with the sienna and the Payne's grey. See how we go. I'm going, I don't know what I'm going to do. A bit of rural scene, some description. So I'll uh, give the paper a wet, a wet. It's about less than 30 degrees, probably 25 degrees, mainly because of the end of the easel doesn't dig in my knees when I keep bashing it. Now, the 200 pound, this takes quite a bit of wet. I was chatting with Alan Owen earlier. We, we, do, we do talk quite a lot, and I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about Windsor Yellow, Cadmium Yellow, uh, Windsor Blue. Windsor Blue is a very strong Prussian type blue, as I remember. I've got some, but I put it on my palette and then wish I hadn't. So that's why I say to you keep your colours simple. You, you learn to use. Well, learn the mixes that they all make, but I'm just going to experiment with the with the yellow one. I'm not going to use the two yellows. I'm going to use the cabin yellow. But my usual palette will be the lemon yellow, and I've got so much of it, I've got to use it. Raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey, and burnt sienna. My favourite colour. Love burnt sienna. So it's a personal choice, but. But if you find that you start adding colours to your basic range to get a particular effect like autumn, you're asking for trouble. Because you should, with the basic palette that I used, you should, it's a Ron Ransom palette with the exception of the addition of Burnt Sienna, is good enough for, for the vast majority of landscapes. Tried and, tried and tested. Uh, but, you, but these are my colours. Uh, I've learned to use them. You use whatever palette you like, but what I'm trying to say is that the more colours you have, the more confusion you're likely to experience. So that's my view anyway. So just just give that a bit of a. I want a bit of a stronger sky on this one. I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any water in this. I might do. Might not. But I'll put in good tints of that all over. And some strong blue, I think. And when you mix up your ultramarine, your student quality, if you're using student quality, mix a little bit of alizarin with it. It takes that sting out of the, as, what was his name? Uh, Campbell Smith, Ray Campbell Smith used to say, ultramarine blue records, mix a bit of ultramarine. So that's quite, quite a good blue. So. And in that we'll put in a, a, a alizarin, alizarin and Payne's grey cloud. A bit more. Yeah, under that we can put carry on with that bit of yellow. I'm not sure if I'm a bit blue. I'm not sure whether. I'm going to leave it like that, but uh, there's my basic sky. Very, very quickly done. You might think that some of these skies look a bit unrealistic, but then you'll go out, as we did on Sunday, Saturday, and, and saw a sky exactly like the one I painted. It was all soft, it was all like that. It was, it was a real watercolour sky. The, 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 this cloud was a bigger, bigger one all over, but I think to do that you've got to really knock up the colour on a bigger tray and have a nice wash ready to go. Nice wash meaning the paint, <laughs> not personal hygiene. No, I just clean that, that off. And I think I, I, I'm going to dry that off, so, so take headphones off. It's just for speed. Fast forward or headphones off now.
Okay, I'm not dried it thoroughly. I want to, uh, uh, damp, I, I want to just dry the shine off the paper. So I'm going to do some background, so a bit of, bit of this and a bit of that, a bit of, bit of, bit of this. Still having fun with the colours. Now the, the hake is it's got hairs sticking out the side of it at the moment. So there's a nice sort of background. They're all dry. Dry. Now I'm going to put this yellow in. See what happens. So we're going to use a bit of paint spray with that. Look how strong that is. But that is an artist's quality. Just a bit of shine a bit. Bit of shine. Warm, warm it up. What does that look like with the yellow? So go, for, go for it. Just, just have some fun with the colours. Right now, with that lemon yellow, we're going to. Got a nice dark green. So I'm mixing a bit of sienna with there as well. Bit of darker green. I'm going to uh, scratch this out. Nice and dark. Yeah, th th this is Windsor and Newton, artist quality. Got loads of colours in these scrubby trees here. The sort of summery sort of greens. Get that yellow, yellow in there. This is a bit of impasto with the watercolour, just to. Yeah, now I've got nothing, no idea of what this is doing. I've just. Just scratching out now. But I can, as that dries, I can get in with some dry brush. And put in some darker trees. Or trunks, anyway. Okay. Sure about that, but I'm gonna. There they go. I hope I'm not uh, blocking you. I'm gonna put in some darker greens now. These are just sort of bushes just coming over the hill here.
get some nice sort of warm grasses. Could use those one of those inch varnish brushes. I want some dark on that horizon. See this drying now, it'll take a bit of a bit of dry brush here. Which I love. So one of the great techniques of watercolour painting is this dry brush. The paper is now dry enough to, to do this. I'll have a bit of more white, burnt sienna in there. So I've not used all the colours, I've not used much, uh, well, no red, no light red, no burnt umber yet, why not? And then, uh, Sort of a woodland sort of scene, it's uh, nothing really, but that's where I want to just fill that bit of, bit of light, paper, white paper in there. Darker. I think my next batch of paint is going to include a couple of tubes of student, the common. So we've got a sort of painting hills really. If I publish this, it'll probably get a load of unlikes, but, but you never know. Oh, this is a little bit bigger. A bit more dry brush in here. Maybe I need to get some warmer darks in, in here just to make those a bit bigger because they're a little bit out of scale with the background trees. So let's put those in there. This dry brush in. Still a bit, a little bit wet there. Uh, well, this is not really, not what I really want to do with that. I've, I've done everything, but, it, but this is what happens when you don't have a plan. You start, and I follow the contours of the brush marks. Uh, don't want to do any more out there. Let's call it hills. Where does that look like? I was say it's not uh, Dartmoor, it could be North Wales, with Brecon. I don't know, it's really just painting, painting for fun really. Uh, I 
wonder if, if we can put in some some rigor work on there. Just a few flicks and flourishes, get my number three. I reckon um, I've got a bit of probably no, I've got my old palette here. There's nothing on it. Uh, Chinese white. So what happens if I put a little bit of this in? That's a, put that away. This is going, going a bit too th stiff now. I, I, I bought it a couple of years ago, three years ago, but I don't use it very often. But I'll use a little bit of uh, raw sienna with that. And Put a little bit of, bit of this body colour. Well, it's, it's different, isn't it? It's, uh, nothing to write home about, I don't think, but, but who's to say? Let's put it in the mouth and see what we've, what we've done. That's probably a bit scrappy there, but... Let's have some darks on there. They're still taking, still soaking up the paint. Just a little bit of texture. It's almost got a, a rocky sort of feel to it. Let's have a little just adds a little shouldn't I say core. Uh, we'll have another little figure downhill a little bit. Going downhill, going downhill, that's me. <coughs> uh, yeah, well that, that adds something to it, doesn't it? Probably a little bird. Okay, I'll give that a sign. Got a garden party to go to soon. So, get this one uploaded. Well, I'll be interested to hear what do you think about this one. 
Let's uh, bring you around. Well, something out of nothing really. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. So what have we got? We've got a, a big bank of trees here and some trees over the hill there, down the hill a bit, smaller, a couple of figures. Uh, might be, that would have been better there and that would have been better there, but uh, it's done now. Hope you enjoyed that. Have fun with your paints. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.